Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Friday, January 26th. It's the third week after the Epiphany and week three in the Psalm Cycle. And today we also celebrate the life and ministry of Timothy and Titus, the companions to St. Paul. The scripture for this service, Psalm 51 and Genesis 17, verse 15 to 27. And join me in singing verse 5 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. We'll crowd your gates with thankful songs, high as the heavens our voices raise, and earth with her ten thousand tongues shall fill your courts with sounding praise. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Hallelujah, Psalm 51. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done evil in your sight, that you might be justified when you speak, and be upright when you judge. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in my inmost parts, and in the secret part you shall make me no wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from death, O God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, else I would give it, and you delight not in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion, and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness. Hallelujah. A reading from Genesis, chapter 17, beginning at verse 15. And God said to Abraham, As for your wife, Sari, you shall not call her Sari, but her name shall be Sarah. I will bless her. Indeed, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her so that she shall give rise to nations. Rulers of peoples shall issue from her. And Abraham threw himself on his face and laughed as he said to himself, Can a child be born to a man a hundred years old? Or can Sarah bear a child at ninety? And Abraham said to God, O oh, that Ishmael might live by your favor. God said, Nevertheless, Sarah, your wife, shall bear you a son, and you shall name him Isaac. And I will maintain my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant. 
for his offspring to come. As for Ishmael, I have heeded you. I hereby bless him. I will make him fertile and exceedingly numerous. He shall be the father of twelve chieftains, and I will make of him a great nation. But my covenant I will maintain with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you at this season next year. And when he was done speaking with him, God was gone from Abram, Abraham. And then Abraham took his son Ishmael and all his homeborn slaves, and all those he had bought, every male in Abraham's household. And he circumcised the flesh of their foreskins on that very day, as God had spoken to him. Abraham was ninety-nine years old when he circumcised the flesh of his foreskin. And his son Ishmael was thirteen years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. Thus Abraham and his son Ishmael were circumcised on that very day. And all his household, his homeborn slaves, and those that had been bought from outsiders were circumcised with him. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us, tender God, of all our sins and offenses, and restore to us the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.